Hello, I'm at the park, but they have it blocked off. It looks like somebody's having a private party or something. I was gonna walk some laps at the park, but it looks like somebody already is doing some kind of big party there or something. So I think I'll go down to the landing and walk some laps at the landing. I'll be right back. Hello friends, so I'm down at the landing. Um, the park was busy. You can see the lake is behind me. There's like ducks and geese and stuff. There goes a boat. Over there, a boat. But uh, yeah, I'm at the lake now and the landing is typically not the best place to shoot video because they do like, um, they play loud music all the time at the landing, but I wanted to make a video because I had a story I wanted to tell. And it's about gremlins and how gremlins was like family drama when I was a kid because uh, my mom wouldn't let me go see Gremlins when it came out and I wasn't allowed to watch it. And then I went to my dad's house and my dad let me watch Gremlins. And then later my mom was gonna rent Gremlins as like a, sp as like a special treat for me. And, uh, but I had to tell her that I had already seen it at my dad's and then it got all emotional and stuff and now it's happening again because I called my mom and said I was gonna go see Gremlins and she was telling me to be careful and use the disinfectant wipes and wear a mask the whole time and she was worried and stuff. And then I decided not to go see Gremlins tonight. <laughs> and just get some exercise instead because it's not healthy to just sit around all day. I gotta move around and uh, get exercise. There goes a boat on the lake. So, yeah, I'm at the landing anyways. That was my gremlin story. And, uh, I do want to support theaters. I hardly ever went to the IMAX anyway, even before this whole thing happened. The last movie I saw there was uh, Rambo. And then I saw the Ginsburg movie there about the uh, Supreme Court woman or whatever. And, uh, I don't go to the IMAX all that often. I did see a movie on the IMAX. I can't remember what it was though. On the big IMAX screen. They have the big IMAX screen and then they have like three other regular small screens. And I went and saw something. Maybe it was some superhero movie or something. But I saw something on the IMAX. And it was really expensive. And I can't remember where, what it was, but I want to show you something really quick. We're at the um, paddle wheel. And this, um, the paddle wheel. And it's a club and it was open for a while, but then they closed it because, um, they closed it because some one of their employees got the COVID and so they closed it down. I just realized I forgot my mask and people are wearing masks and stuff. So I'm gonna have to go back to my car and put my mask on. That was pretty dumb of me to forget that. But anyways, thanks, I'll be right back. Yep, so here I am at the lake and uh, it's a beautiful day, it's not hot out, and uh, gotta love the scenery here, it's so nice and pretty and everything, and uh, I'm gonna do a little more exercise, I'm gonna get some more walk-in, and then I'm gonna head home, and uh, 
I'm going to um, rent the movie The Rabbit Remake on Amazon and I've decided that's how I'm going to support the movie making business is by uh, streaming a movie on Amazon and uh, I got an energy drink at Spirit Shop on my way here, Adrenaline Shock, Smart Energy, Sour Candy flavor. So let's crack that open real quick and I'll give it a try. It's pretty late to be drinking an energy drink, but I stay up really late nowadays. It's good, tastes, does taste sour, does taste like candy. I really enjoy it. It's got zero sugar, electrolytes, BCAAs, essential aminos, natural caffeine. A shock is a modern fitness enhanced energy drink designed for your active lifestyle. Our natural smart energy blend is the guilt free boost you need to help maximize your day. Reach your peak. Live active. Live healthy. And then there's the warning about all the side effects it may cause and like don't drink it if you're under 18. But today, I actually am exercising. And uh, I'm walking. I'm walking along the lake at the landing. And uh, it's awesome, and thanks so much. Keep watching, I'll be right back. I'll, when I get home, I'll talk about rabbit and stuff. Real quick, here's the Guy Fieri kitchen and bar. I really want to eat there one of these days. Okay, I'm back home now. I got back from the landing. I wanted to show you some mail stuff. Um, I got this puzzle in the mail yesterday, and it's from my good friend Dave, who I've been friends with. For, he's my second longest friend. I've been friends with him since middle school. And he was he bought me a horror movie poster or VHS artwork puzzle. And the people sent a Pirates of the Caribbean um, pirate, pirate puzzle. It's, I'm sure it's not licensed to be Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's got the logo and stuff it just says pirates and then it's like a painting of a pirate ship and stuff but um oh Mavis came over to see me let me show you here's Mavis she's uh came to see me she hears me talking she probably thinks I'm talking to her you can't really see her because she's so black but um anyways so he, he, we were blaming the Chinese, saying the Chinese screwed up and that they did a bad job, but really, it could have been an American doing drop shipping, some American internet marketer who, um, who like, he advertises on Instagram and then you buy at a marked up price and then he sends the, the shipping he sends to the Chinese company an order and stuff. And let me show you the puzzle because Dave was curious about this. Let me if it'll focus. Like here's the puzzle pieces. And they are pretty thin and he was saying they're pixelated, but they are like basically paper thin. And um, I think I'm gonna send it to my grandma because she loves puzzles. And uh, I'd like to see her do it first and then maybe I can do it later or something. But um, anyway, so that was a great present from my friend Dave and I'm really grateful for it. And it came from China. 
and then here's a um, a letter I got today a package and uh, I know what's in it let me see if I can open it on screen here this is difficult it's times like this I wish I had a cameraman so I'm gonna open it up here and uh, let me switch angles here sorry this is so complicated oops no I was gonna do it this way this is um, Amityville vibrator and uh, it's from my friend Nathan Rumler it says Shane you cock dude <laughs> Or you rock, dude. That's what he meant to say. Oops. But um, it's uh, an indie film, and it's from the guy who made Gay for Prey, or Prey for Gay, and um, uh, he made a couple other movies and stuff, Fang Boner and stuff. And uh, this, I've heard this movie is very, very sleazy and dirty and stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing it and I'll review it soon. But right now I got one more thing I want to show you and then the video won't be over because I'll come back later to um, review this movie. But I got Rabid 2019 on Amazon Prime. I'm going to order it real quick. They got Rent Movie HD $4.99, Buy Movie HD $12.99. I'm going to go over to More Purchase Options. And I'm going to go to Rent Movie SD for $3.99. And I'll rent it up real quick. And I don't know why I like to show you guys this, but... Um... um watch now see i got watch now so i'm gonna watch the new rabid movie and that's me supporting filmmaking and i supported my friend nathan rumler and i supported my um facebook friend i'm facebook friends with one of the soska sisters so i um support their career and stuff and uh i wanted to support theaters but was too chicken maybe i will tomorrow or maybe i won't i don't know if i wear a mask the whole time and wipe down my seat and um there might be like covid farts in the seat maybe somebody with covid farted into my movie theater seat so I have to worry about that. But anyways, I'm going to watch Rabid now and stick around and I'll come back and then I'll tell you what it was like. And uh, I can't wait to watch it. So stick around for the rest of my review. Okay, so I watched Rabid. It was an awesome movie, really well made. Kind of fell apart at the end. We'll talk about that a little later, but... Like a really neat movie and starts off with such great character building. I was super impressed by that. Um, you have this actress and I meant to look up her name but I, I, I forgot to. Her name in the movie is Rose and she's this kind of like attractive woman who has an unattractive quality of a lack of self-confidence and she's working in this um, high stress profession of fashion and uh, you can tell that she's like skilled at what she does and she's passionate about what she does but that um, her lack of self-confidence kind of holds her back and she's just kind of this meek kind of mousy girl or woman rather and uh, like she's um, harassed by her boss her boss kind of makes fun of her and uh, talks down to her and stuff and anyways like I just felt for this character and uh, was rooting for this character right from the beginning felt like I totally understood this character and so on that note I was like scared from the beginning because I knew something awful was gonna happen to this woman and so I was already feeling scared right at the beginning that this this character that I felt so much for just 
right off the bat in the first couple minutes of the movie you know something terrible is gonna happen and um there's like these circumstances and she ends up getting in a car accident on her little moped and uh she goes into the doctor's office and like you can see on this picture here her face gets all defigured and it's all nasty and the special effects were actually so gruesome they got the Soska sisters banned from Twitter for posting art from this movie while, <clears throat> while it was in production. And there's plenty of great gore in this. There's plenty of like the body horror that you would expect from a Cronenberg movie. And so in that regard, I feel like it was a really good tribute to um, Cronenberg. It kind of goes further than the original Rabbit. I haven't seen Rabbit, and so the original Rabbit, like since I was in my 20s many years ago, but uh, I know that this remake kind of takes it a little further as far as the body horror, and uh, that was definitely appreciated. And the one thing it doesn't capture that the original did was kind of this, like, mass hysteria of an outbreak. And I think if they had a bigger budget, they probably could have pulled that off a little better. But I think Cronenberg really captured, like, hysteria and, like, just these insane crowd scenes of crowds going crazy with fear and everything. And this movie did have some of that, but not quite as much as the original captured. And um, But the if this movie had great acting, great cinematography. It looked like a Hollywood movie. It was very professional, awesome acting, really beautiful women, and great men, actors, and everything. And CM Punk's in it, plays a great character. It's a great scene. Um, there's plenty of gore. Uh, not too much sex or nudity, but um, there's just it, it's it it delivers in my opinion. My problem with the film is the end of the film, where I'm gonna get into spoilers now. So if you haven't seen Rabid, and you should definitely should see it, it's like it's really fitting for this time when we're going through a pandemic, and this movie is kind of like about a pandemic. And, but filmed before the current pandemic so it's really smart in that way and topical i highly recommend you see this movie but i'm gonna get into spoilers now so just turn off this video if you don't want to hear spoilers and the sad part about this movie is that it ends with like the doctor being the bad guy and uh, i find that kind of material like kind of not very sociable, social responsible uh, to portray doctors as like the evil people and then it also shows self-harm at the end of the movie being like it shows like heroic self-harm where the the hero of the story is a hero because they commit self-harm and that I'm that's really not something I like to see in movies so those two and it happens right at the end it's like all good it's kind of a slow burner a little bit like it's not action packed or nothing but uh, it really kept me engrossed in the movie kept me involved and then at the end like I was kind of disappointed the direction it took but uh, it's still a really good movie I rec recommend it definitely check it out it's very well made. I think the Soska sisters have a great career ahead of them. I really hope they got a lot of enemies, I know, but um, I think they're awesome. I think this movie was awesome. It's real good, like right up until the end, but it's still worth seeing. So definitely check it out on Amazon Prime or wherever you can. Maybe get a DVD of it or whatever. It's up to you, but... Uh, Thanks so much for watching, and uh, definitely comment, thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, 
and share sharing is caring i need this channel to grow so please share wherever you hang out on face on um the internet with its facebook groups or like twitter or um uh what's the other one reddit or tumblr or whatever please share this video and uh thanks so much